Hello my beautiful Pisces and thank you so much for coming to visit me here. If you want to show your love and support, please make sure to subscribe before you leave or at any point during this reading. I am going to do a reading for you today. Nothing in particular because I feel like it. Because it's time. It's time to do a reading. It's, it's that time of the day. So, yeah. You're my favorite part of the day, Pisces. You know that, right? I love you, my spiritual equals, lovely ones. I'm going to do the real clarity spread now this time. As you can see, I started decorating for Halloween. I really like it. I love Halloween. Love Halloween. So the first card out is the Justice card. The top row is our current situation. These are timeless, but they're also general. So some will resonate with you, some won't. We have the love card. Oh, justice and love. So as I said, some will resonate with you, but these are timeless. When you're here, whenever you are, whenever you find this, it's the time. Three of Earth, or Three of Pentacles, one of my favorite cards. The Three of Pentacles, when I pull it out, it usually means that Spirit is with us today. to jump out. We have the Nine of Fire. Oh, this is all about spirit saying, don't give up, don't give up. I can see this right now, right here. Yeah, love and harmony is coming to you, and it's divinely guided. It's divinely guided. All right, so we'll do the middle row, which is what is currently going on with you, what's at the heart of you, what's at your center, Pisces. Page of water. Water sign. Big surprise there, huh? Okay, there's a lot going on. There's a lot here, but I think I'm going to take them because this will probably finish off our, our rows. We have transformation and we have the messenger of earth here. Okay? I'm going to go with this and see what feels right for the, the second row. This is Message from Spirit. We have the Empress. We have the Five of Air. We have the Five of Water. We have the Queen of Earth. And as the outcome, we have the Two of Air and the Messenger of Air. These are more cards than I usually get, but we're going to go with it. Because, well, you know, it's a Pisces reading, so... <sighs> All right, this is wonderful, so let's talk about this. What's our current situation? Well, I've already mentioned this, okay? Because just looking at the cards at the top, it already feels this way, it feels wonderful. We're finding the balance in things, okay? The Justice card is all about the balance, okay? The fairness, the justice. Everything is going to fall into place for us, Pisces. Don't you feel it? It's in the air. It's coming in. I mean, it could be in the smallest of things that you're doing, okay? You definitely know now what feels good and what feels wrong. And you shift accordingly. I've seen so many tarot readings where they're saying that we're just... We're kind of just slowly moving towards doing things that we want to do. And I love that. And it's bringing harmony in your life in all points. And it may not be like harmony in a, a huge way. Like not just, you know, it's not, it's not even a big bang moment. But all of these things that are happening, it's, it's bringing on the blessings and the happiness that you're feeling. 
What's that saying? The journey of a thousand steps begins with the first one, something like that. I'm terrible with uh, with sayings, but I think this is it. We're going at it, and we're divinely guided. The Three of Earth for me is always the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is my spiritual guide card, is what I call it. It's it means that your spirit guides are there with you. They are supporting you. They are your team. They're your team, and they're here to help you constantly, okay? And you may be feeling a little tired, a little weary with the Nine of Fire. Nine of Wands is like a card of perseverance. We're not giving up on this, okay? We're not giving up on it. Some days we feel like we may be, but we're not. We feel it inside of us, okay? We're tired. Sometimes we're like, oh my God, frustrated. There's so much hard work. But we are determined, and look, look, she's staring at those stars. We're going to make our happy ending happen, and Spirit right beside it is saying, don't give up, you are so close, you are getting to it, okay? At the heart of us, look at this, the page of water, the childlike Pisces, okay? We are reconnecting with this child. Look at her, look at her, or it could be a him too. It doesn't really matter, Pisces. You're reconnecting with yourself, male, female, whatever you um, identify with. You are reconnecting with the Piscean side of you, okay? And we're in the middle of a transformation. We are. And that transformation is fluid. That is the wonderful. See that phoenix? See? That phoenix rising out of her hands. It's in the child's hands too. Again, with the child. The messenger of earth. The page of pentacles. A very steady, a very progressive. It's an earth sign. Earth signs are um, something that you can bank on. Something that you can rely on. So this is a slow and steady progress. Something that's new that is working for you and this is how you feel inside of yourself and at the heart of yourself is the transformation card we are the phoenix we are rising we are making things happen okay message from spirit we are at the height of our creativity with the empress card we are creating and then recreating and then recreating just be careful you may be recreating a lot the Five of Air uses the Five of Swords. It reveals a lost battle. But in this case, the lost battles is, is everything that didn't suit us anymore. We're taking flight. Look at her. She is taking flight. Okay? She's rising above. Do you see that? So, the Spirit has said, get ready. You're about to fly. You're about to go. Okay? And here, the Five of Water, which is the Five of Cups, it can make you feel a little bit unbalanced, okay? It may be a little bit of an emotional upheaval, but you have the Queen of Earth here to ground you. The Queen of Earth to keep you solid in your journey, okay? It's at the end. It's at the end of feeling unworthy here. Okay, this is the Five of Cups. It's the end of feeling like you are not part of something or that you feel left out of something or that you're not good enough for something. This is the end of this. You are you are walking into your Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. Your Queen of Earth. Look at that. Okay? Definitely, it's what I feel. I feel that we have been through an emotional upheaval, but this is coming to an end. This is this is coming to an end, and Spirit says that. Okay? You have the Two of Swords, the Two of Air here. And if you look at her, she's like got two birds, and... She looks completely at ease here with her Two of Air, right? She's balancing that. There's no problem. Okay? She's taking her time, and this is what's going on. 
she has more than one choice, and that's okay. Usually they're normal to a sword. She's got swords in her hands, and she's got, like, a blindfold. But not in this picture. There's no blindfold, baby. She's turning her back at you. She's got it all under control. Look at those birds. They're just sitting there waiting for her to let them know what's going on. She's a big bird. Look at those feathers. She is within her own. And with the messenger of error, again, look at this. Looking up. Looking up and beyond. Dreaming. Seeing. Yep. She's about to communicate something wonderful to this world. And not afraid to do it. Not afraid to do it. Look at that. Do it with style and grace and wonderful, wonderful confidence. Okay? This is all about confidence. This is about coming into your own Pisces. That's all I feel from this reading is coming into our own. And that, that is so important. So I read these cards this way as well. So this is you. This is what is making you who you are on this day. Okay? So as I said, everything's coming into balance with the Justice card. Okay? And you have the Page of Water here. It's coming into balance because you're reconnecting with the innocent beginnings of um, your soul journey when you first got here. Before all the crap got into you, before all the all the experience of your life shaped you into the maybe scared person that you were, you are becoming the creator of your own life and you don't care what anybody says. You got this, okay? You have it. This is masterful. This picture makes me feel like there's somebody who is coming into their mastery, okay? They know what's coming in right now. On this side is the, the journey if you continue down this path, this this current situation of, you know, reaching for the stars and and working on this clear progress, this clear continued progress, okay? You go from the messenger to the queen of earth, the messenger of earth to the queen of earth. You're graduating slowly but surely. And you're going to spread your message out to the world. This is fantastic. This is a fantastic reading, Pisces. You are coming into your own. Feel it inside of you. You're listening to this and you know it. You sit there and you feel majestic, beautiful, and powerful and you should you should don't forget to be humble don't forget to be understanding and loving at the same time don't be you can be proud of your achievement just don't be conceited about it avoid conceit at all costs use your power for good use your power for people who need it for people who have, who feel where you've been, where you've sat and thought, well, I didn't feel that great here, and I didn't have any self-confidence. You do. You're at that point now, Pisces, okay? So, keep working at it. Keep doing it. Keep feeling it. Hold on to this feeling right here. And thank you so much for dropping by. Please don't forget to subscribe if you've loved this. I want you part of my Pisces family. Take care of yourselves. Have a great day. And I'll see you real soon.